Hey guys, so before this video begins, I just want you all to know that I do have a new character sprite, so my old one is no longer being used, it's going to be this one from now on. These sprites were made by Merlot, or Merlot Arts on Twitter, I will link to their Twitter below. You should really go check her out, she's got some really good arts, and also I will keep the link to my old artist, Kira the Hedgehog, because she was the one who came up with the original sprite, and they're both really good artists, you should really go and check them out, and also I'm gonna link to Dylan Thomas in the description below, because he He's the one who actually DM'd me on Discord and told me about these new sprites. So thank you to all three of you for this because obviously Kira the Hedgehog, you did my original art, uh, Merlo, <laughs> you did these new sprites and it, it was a complete surprise, thank you very much. And Dylan, you, obviously I'm thanking you because you're the one who told me that they existed and linked me to them and everything. So thank you all very much. Anyway, I hope you guys like these new sprites, I hope you guys will go check those people out. And with that all said, let's get back into the video. How's it going guys? It's Lord Danny and welcome to this video I decided to make. So this video is going to be just some random stuff that's I don't even know. I'm just going to be showing you some things about failing in Sonic Forces. Now Sonic Forces is a really easy game which is a reason I like it just because it's easy to play through and it's just you can just turn your head off while playing it so it's quite relaxing but there are so many things in this game that you just don't die at or fail at. That you don't actually notice what happens when you do fail something like a quick time event or a boss battle. So anyway, we'll get into this video because I want to show you the ridiculous things that I discovered when messing around on my game. And well, you can tell me in the comments about any I might have missed. But anyway, let's just get into this. Okay, so first up, we're gonna look at a Luminous Forest level. So, forgive the footage, it's gonna be a little bit laggy because my computer sucks. I was trying to fix this game for ages, I don't know what happened to it. But, um, yeah, we'll look at Luminous Forest. So, obviously in Luminous Forest, there is a quick time event near the end with the snake. Now, I think people will have seen this this event when it gets failed because people joke about it so that's why i'm putting this one first it's quite an obvious one but i honestly just found it to be really funny and also there's a really interesting thing that you will see with it which is the missing dialogue and that's the famous part of this scene as well so let's just look at this now unidentified life form on the radar something from the jungle <laughs> So yeah, when you fail it the first time, you just get swallowed whole by the snake and that's it. It's just hilarious. I don't know why I find it funny, but I just do. And then obviously the second failure, which makes less sense, but anyway, let's have a look at it. You're so gonna regret that. Hedgehogs don't make good snacks. So if you don't make any hits at all in this part of the snake, you don't do anything to fight your way out. He just spits you out and then goes back to sleep. So you get spat out at a previous point in the in that ending part, so you access more dialogue. And it's nothing really interesting, but it's still there and it's cool to know that it exists. Okay, the next one we're looking at is the spaceport level, which there's only one quick time event in this that's only got one thing and it's not that big a deal. But... I find this one actually to be the most surprising, even though it doesn't do anything. But when you fail this one, I find it just weird. I'll, let, let's just see what happens first and I'll tell, tell you about it. So the rookie just falls and 
that's it. They, I thought they would at least fall to their death, but nope, the rookie just falls and goes to a different part of the level. Which really doesn't punish the player for not doing it. They should have punished the player for failing that, because it was such an easy quick time event. Okay, next we'll be looking at egg gates. So, um, first off, you can see that in this footage, I do let Sonic get crushed a few times, just because these bits are really easy. You don't get crushed very often in this game because you're so fast, you can just breeze through that. And then of course the next thing in this level will be the <laughs> the um, the quick time event which actually made me wheeze when I first failed it because it's so stupid. Man, they're packing a lot of firepower. Still, it doesn't matter if they can't land their shots. Here goes nothing. I mean, the reason I like that one so much is because, like he says, oh, it doesn't matter if they can't land their shots, and they land the shot perfectly, and he just dies. It's just hilarious. Oh, I love that one. So then it happens again, where you've missed the second one. <laughs> I mean, it's not as funny with the second one, but it is just still really stupid, where you just see Sonic get hit by the, the laser. It's hilarious. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is a famous one. It's just failing the, um the fist bump, the whatever that is. We've, we've all seen the fist bump get failed. Or, no, it's not a fist bump, but whatever it is. Team up. A double boost. <laughs> How did I forget the name? But it's just, it's just so stupid. You don't get punished for failing it. That's why this game has so many issues with like fans, because it didn't punish the player when they did something wrong. Because a lot of the time when they had to do something, the game depended on you doing it. And even with the quick time events, like, no, quick time events are meant to be you react or you die, come on. Oh, the next level we'll be looking at is Redgate Bridge. Honestly, there's a few things in this that are hilarious. So obviously at the beginning there is the, um, the quick time event at the start, and again, this is one of my personal favourites. That was a close one. I love how you don't even see the rookie and Sonic die in that part, you just see, like, the, the fist come towards them and then it just says try again. It's like those JoJo to be continued memes. Whew, that was a close one. And then the second part you fail is this part with the eye. <laughs> That's probably the darkest way, actually. That's the darkest one because you just get roasted alive. Ooh. Now, of course, then there's a Metal Sonic boss fight. Now, what I was trying to do with this level for a while was see how long it lasted. And the reason for that is because of a different boss fight where you run along a stage. But with this one, it's a looping stage, so there's no time or anything. You can spend as long as you want running after Metal Sonic. But the thing I noticed that was quite cool was when he kills you, the music stops. So when you start back in the level, you get the Red Gate Bridge music. And honestly, I actually kind of like fighting Metal Sonic to this music. It's just, I don't know why, the, the um... Because the Red Gate Bridge theme is quite beautiful, it's quite... Emo it's got an emotional feeling to it, I don't know, I can't describe it. So it feels like you're fighting for something. But with his other boss theme, it's just like, Hey, guess what music we're using again? And it annoys me. It's still a good theme though, obviously, but I prefer... I think I prefer the Renegade Bridge music as a boss theme. Here goes, partner! When we join forces, the sky's the limit! Double boost! Okay, so next we've got Guardian Rock. And obviously there's a quick time event at the end, but also you've got to dodge the things that get flown at you, the um, the bits of earth. So just dying from those can be hilarious, because it's, again, it's really hard to die like this. You can't let this thing get to the chemical plant. Keep it busy there as long as you can, rookie. Ugh. 
because the crab just walks over you and you just your dead body is left there. It's it's hilarious. And then there's missing the uh, quick time event. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so funny that the crab just walks over the rookie and just keeps going. And the rookie just dies. I don't know why I find it funny. It's it's just funny to me. Anyway, so what we'll be looking at last of all in this video is all three of the internet fights. So I was just messing around with these and with the first one, this is just something I thought was quite cool. It's a cute little addition to the to the fight. But if you die <laughs> Infinite laughs at you. I don't know why I find it so good. I didn't check the other boss fights. I checked with Metal Sonic, he didn't make any noises when you died for on his fight. Maybe Zavok does, maybe Eggman does, I don't know, but with Infinite he laughs when you die. Obviously, when there's uh, dialogue going on, there's no sound. It just cuts off whatever dialogue it is. It's, it's still quite funny. Haven't you seen a hedgehog before? Come on, I'll... But yeah, I just thought the cute little thing was that they added infinite laughing. And this also happens in the other infinite boss fight with the avatar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I find it funny that, that they add infinite laughing. I just find it just... It suits the character just to laugh as someone dies. But um, what's interesting is that uh, this doesn't happen in the third battle with him. I kept trying. I kept dying at different points, like when the Avatar joined, when the Avatar wasn't there. In the illusion world, seeing if it would only be in that place. No, he just wouldn't laugh. So there's nothing special with dying on that fight. But there is one thing I discovered by accident when I was messing around with my friend. I was like, just at her house, messing around on the level, like, hey, you know, I'll get an S rank for you. And I was just messing around with the drill. <laughs> I did not know. I don't know if anyone knows this happens because it's so easy. This boss fight is easy. I could do it within two minutes. But I, th this happens if you just, I think it's if you spend about five minutes on it. But this is what happens. He literally flies off. Infinite literally flies off at the end. So unlike the Metal Sonic stage, which I mentioned earlier, this one isn't looped. I thought it was. I thought it was a big loop. I thought that doesn't make any sense because we're not in the looping area at all. <laughs> but it's, it's not looped. And there's an ending. And if you hit the ending, Sonic just stops running, and lets Infinite fly away, and then lets himself die. I don't know. I have such a big problem with that. It's just so stupid. It would have made sense to put the laugh there though, because, you know, Infinite's laughing that he got away. But why was- it does raise a question, like, why was he leaving? Wasn't he still fighting with Sonic? Wasn't he trying to kill him? Why did he fly away? Uh, it doesn't- I don't really know. And why didn't Sonic chase him? Why would he just stand there and go, oh, okay, I'm glad I've got no game overs. And it's still the same with the Avatar. I don't know why it's so funny. It's just it's just because it, the way they just stop running and let him fly away. I'm guessing it's because Sega and, and the team, they didn't really think anyone would actually fail at that. So it's like, well, what's the point of adding anything special? That's the problem with this game. Everything is so easy that you don't see all the cool... Well, cool is a stretch, but all the stuff that happens if you do fail. While in other games, failing is sometimes famous, where people will say, oh, you know, there's so many famous deaths in this game and that game. Not in this one because no one dies. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just made it for a bit of fun. I thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys that there are things that happen when you fail in forces that you would never see if you completed the game flawlessly. I think my overall favorite has to be Infinite just yeeting himself away and then everyone just like going, oh, okay, well, guess we'll just die. <laughs> anyway, let me know if there's anything you guys have seen in the game where you die and it's a bit random, like, hey, something happened or that you didn't expect would happen. Is there any other quick time events I missed? I don't remember them being anything else. Let me know in the comments. I might do another video if there's more stuff to look into. But this is the main stuff I thought about and I just hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, this has been Lord Danny and I am signing out.